So hi, I'm back again. I hope everybody's well. All right, so uh, so there's a nice example here I want to go through with regards to free cash flow. And uh, we're going to calculate the network. We need the networking capital, right, to calculate free cash flow. And again, that's the current assets minus current liabilities. So you'll notice here, here's the receivables, right, current assets. And here's the uh, current liabilities. So the networking capital, again, is uh, basically just the difference of the two. So you can see the networking capital here is just the difference. So we've got this networking capital. So in, in, in this situation, uh, the net uh, working capital changes each year. So a, uh, a large internet in initial investment in working capital is required in year one, fired by a small investment in year two. So I want to explain to you, remember, you remember, it's the change in networking capital, remember. So look here, here's the networking capital, okay? You see this line? Now it's the change. So look at the change from this year to this year. Subtract this from this and you'll get 263. From Subtract that from that and you'll get minus 237 and subtract that from that and you'll get this number here okay and the last one is uh, you know 735 so so basically that's that's important okay so remember look here it's the change okay All right, so what they simply do here is they take the um, spreadsheet that I showed you with the, the net income statement, and, and they just turn it into an equation. Now, you can make this equation very easy by just following the income statement and the, uh, and the uh, uh, cash flow statement, and, and all this is is an equation, and, and uh, we can go over this. If you have any uh, questions, just uh, email me. And we can go over this, okay? So, I just want to make sure everyone's clear about uh, these items. So, in this case, you'll notice the changes, and there's no change, right? So, this delta is none here. We went over this example, right? And... Um, so these equations, as I just simply said, are just based on um, what's going on in that spreadsheet. So um, so you should go over that. So uh, TC times the depreciation is simply called the depreciation tax shield. Okay. And this equation right here, 8.6, is a, a simplified version of this. You can get this. So you notice what they say. The only effect of depreciation is to reduce the firm's taxable income. Indeed, we can write equation 8.5 as this. It's simplified, all right? All right, so I just wanted to make sure everyone was aware of that. And uh, then they take, basically, um, we'll, get into, we'll go into net present value eventually. But I just wanted you to understand the concept of how to get free cash flow, okay? So uh, that's that was important, okay? All righty, I hope everybody's well, and I'll see you uh, tonight.